Hello, beautiful soul family. Rebecca here, your vibe mentor, bringing you another video on how to raise your vibration so you can live your best life. Today's video is um, Monday Magic Energy Reading. I absolutely love this day. This is one of my favorite videos to make, and the energy is fun today. So just a, a disclaimer, I do not predict energy necessarily. I rather just tap into the current energy as I am experiencing it. Not everyone will experience it this way. And so if I do not resonate with you, that does not make me wrong. That actually just means we are on different wavelengths, different frequencies, different places in life. So if you do resonate, then it often is helpful to hear what someone else is going through and have that confirmation that you are not alone in this. And oftentimes when we remember that we are all one, we are all interconnected, you are not alone in what you're experiencing and can help us to raise our vibration, feel a little bit stronger and have the resources necessary to move forward. So let's get into it. Um, the current energy is interesting. I would say the last couple of weeks have been rather challenging. Um, although the energy, it, it sort of ebbs and flows. There, there was a bit of a, a deliciousness, a, a yumminess, just a, a, a healing, uh, vibrant energy that came through. And then the, even days later, there could be a challenge. You know, there is a question of whether or not everything that we have learned, the universe likes to test us. Have we truly embodied what we have learned? And can we you know, be triggered at breakfast and move through it by lunch and maintain that higher vibration. And there was some astrological squares, um, so that can create some tension. Um, but I do believe we are moving into um, a, a more um, easy flowing energy, at least in this moment, that there is um, a sense of anticipation, excitement. When I was tuning in and, and really just grounding in the body and really tapping into what is available to us right now, um, there was almost heart palpitations, like an excitement, a, a flutter um, of excitement and anticipation for what is to come. Um, so it would seem that there is some momentum coming, that, there, that we're gaining some traction. We're starting to move forward towards the dreams that we are manifesting, towards the life that we were intended to live versus the life we um, have lived so far or have chosen to create so far. Um, and the forward momentum will be interesting because it will certainly play out different for many individuals and the um, recommendation that I was offered was to to sit in stillness, to be still in the eye of the storm. So as we start to experience some of this momentum, things start to move forward in some people's lives, that will mean a falling away of what is old and no longer serving. And sometimes that can look a little chaotic or that can look painful if they are in resistance to what is happening. And so as we watch the world around us, we still have that ability to sit in stillness in the eye of the storm, to maintain our connection to the divine, to rest in stillness in our knowing that all is as it should be, and that we are safe and we are cared for, that that will never change, that we can fully surrender and allow and trust and know that all is going according to the divine plan. So we can officially put down the struggle. More importantly, we need to put down the beliefs that life has to be difficult or that we have to learn through pain. We live in a dualistic world. Yes, there is struggle, but we don't have to live that life anymore. We can grow and learn through love and joy. The expansion that we seek does not have to come through struggle and pain. And it is up to us to put down that belief. So start to say to yourself, I no longer learn through pain and hardship. Life is easy, effortless, flowing, abundant. Start to free yourself. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, we talk about life purpose. Your purpose is to free yourself, to be completely free of judgment, expectation, criticism, 
the shoulds, to be truly free, to be holy and complete all that you were designed to be, perfectly imperfect as you are. Tune into that truth. Truth resonates in the body. The body is an instrument, a tuning fork. It can sense the truth or an untruth. So as you tap into your purpose of freeing yourself, of becoming whole, of mastering all that you were designed to be, feel that resonance, feel that truth in your body. And know that the new earth is here. It is here now. It is a matter of tuning in to that frequency. Recalibrating the beliefs that lead to the thoughts, that lead to the actions, that lead to the words, that ultimately become your destiny. To catch those things like a belief in struggle and say no more. You are part of the new earth construction team. If you are here, that is why. We need you to recalibrate and to tune in, to raise your vibration and raise your frequency, to become whole and to become free. It's important to remember that we fell from grace and it was a choice. We chose to forget how to tune in, how to raise our vibration. The fifth dimension is non-judgment, non-resistance. So we fell from grace on purpose, by choice, so that we could remember and teach others by example. That as we put down the judgment, we put down the criticism, we step into our purpose of freeing ourselves and mastering all that we were meant to be, we lead by example and show others how to do the same. So tune into the music, tune into the vibration, tune into the frequency of heaven on earth. Look at those beliefs of I'm not enough, or I don't deserve my dreams, or life has to be hard. And choose a new belief. All you have to do is tune in to the frequency that is available already right now. No more creating from lack. Everything in your life up until this point, if you are just starting on this journey, everything that you have created came from a place of lack. You believed there wasn't enough, that you weren't enough, there's not enough love, not enough money. Everything that we create with the intention of fixing something we don't like is a creation that comes from lack. So again, choose a new belief, make a new choice, that I am abundant, Money flows to me effortlessly and easily in ever increasing, in ever increasing amounts from many different sources. My bank account overflows with abundance. Create from that place. If I am abundant and I overflow, I want to manifest experiencing all the luxuries of the world, traveling, seeing all the beauties in the world. That's creating from abundance instead of lack. So remember that we are all one. We are all one human family. We all literally descended from one woman. So as you go through life, Remember, every person you meet is your cousin. Honor their path. 
honor who they are, honor how they show up, put down the judgment, put down the resistance, embrace all that is, and remember, the tide rises all boats. So as you heal yourself, as you become free, as you allow yourself to believe that you have the right, the birthright of abundance in every form, you are helping your brothers and sisters, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your human family. Because we are all connected, your purpose is your joy and your bliss, is your dreams, is self-actualization, is mastering all that you were meant to be, following your desires, using your joy as your compass, and creating a life that you love. It's not Pollyannish. It's the truth. Feel the resonance in your body. So that's what's on tap at this moment in time. I would love to hear, are you seeing evidence of this theme in your life? Is this showing up in more ways than one? Because it will. If we are on the, the same soul family path, the same frequency and vibration, this will show up in many ways. The universe has a way of confirming the message from more than one source. So do share. It is helpful not only for me, but also for your family, the other people that watch this video. It reminds us we're all in this together. You are not alone. Okay. I love you. I will see you on the next video. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed week. Namaste, my friends.